Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. Today is Thankful Thursday and we are very thankful to have baby Chester joining us. He wants to join in the pajama club too. He wants to have a set of cute PJs as well. We've already fed him. He's sleeping peacefully so we should be okay. So we're just going to do a changing on him today. Uh, we will powder him up. I do have to get the powder. We'll give him a powder and a change. But first, we're going to read our powerful prayers for every need. Today, we are on oppression. I sing praises to you, Lord. You rescue the op oppressed. Jeremiah 20, 13. Dear God, the oppression I'm experiencing, experiencing is taking a toll on me spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. Thank you for reminding me that I'm not struggling against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. Help me to rise up in your authority and break free of these oppression thoughts. Amen. Ephesians 6, 12. That's the armor of God. Make sure you always put that armor of God on daily to protect you. Uh, from the evil do you know the evil uh, realms like out there um, and keeping the devil away it's important to put his armor on daily and that's Ephesians 6 uh, through 18 and this we read just 6 through 12 so 6 through 18 is the full armor Lord sometimes I wonder if you see what we're going through if you are aware of the oppression we struggle under but today I, re I read your words of Mo or to Moses as he stood looking at a bush burning in the desert, you assured him that you did see the oppression of your people. You had heard their groaning, and you were there to set them free. Thanks for the reminder that you always see and care. I continue to look to you for my help. Amen. Acts 7.34 You know, God hears us. He does. He knows. He understands. He hears us, and he cares very deeply. So, you know... We just have to just, you know, give it all to God. Let go and let God. Sometimes we have to. We have to let go and let God get us through the tough times in our life, and he will. Father, as a Christian in this dark place, we feel isolated, needy, afflicted, and oppressed. We have no one to help us but you. We ask you to take pity on us, save us from death, and rescue us from oppression and violence. Your word says that our blood is precious in your sight. Amen. Psalm 72, 12 through 14. And see what it's saying there? That we can be saved from eternal death, which is hell, you guys. We can be saved and rescued from that. Um, you know, we live in a place, like we said, we feel isolated, needy, afflicted, and you know, oppressed. And then we need, uh, we have no one to help but him. God is the one that will help us. When it says we have no one, we do. We have God who will save us who will take pity on us and save us from death and rescue us from the oppression and the violence. You know, we definitely serve an almighty, merciful God. We do. I love saying that. No outward force can strip me of my relationship with you, Lord, for that I praise you with my whole heart. Amen. And I do, you know, definitely love the relationship that I have with the Lord and you know, just happy that I have my salvation and I know where I am going when my time is up. Glad that I serve a merciful God that will forgive me uh, through the death of his son, dying on the cross, taking those sins on. And I'm just grateful for that. I'm grateful to have a walk with God. And I just hope that I can save other people out there too, save their soul, save them from eternal death. And it's important, you guys, to start our day, go through our day and end our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. This book here will be a great tool to help us to learn and grow, but it won't get us into heaven. Um, what gets in, us into heaven is the salvation, uh, you know, our Savior dying for us, saving us, and us believing and living our life right. But we got this great tool to lean on. This is Life's Manual. This is the tool that we need to lean on and read and study every day. And even I get behind in reading, you guys. I'm behind right now, but I will get caught up. And I definitely can notice when I'm not you know, reading the word and spending enough time with God. I do try every morning to talk to him every night before I go to bed, listening to the scriptures at nighttime as I go to sleep, what I read to you guys. But I want more of my time alone with God. I need my time alone with God. That's when I feel the best. So yeah, I love picking this word up and I do love spending time alone with Jesus, just telling him how I feel. You know, we serve a very, you know, big giant God that can take it even when we're upset and going through things. I mean, we can yell and scream too. You know, he can take it. He's big. 
He can take it. So, you know, whatever you're going through, don't be afraid to talk to God. And don't feel that your sin is too great that God, you know, God cannot forgive it. He can forgive all sins. All sins can be forgiven. And then we need to turn from that sin and try to sin no more. You know, try to do the best we can. Of course, Christ walked this earth perfect. None of us can walk this earth perfect. We all live in glass houses. Uh, we shouldn't judge. We shouldn't throw stones. We shouldn't, you know, do anything like that because none of us live sin free. But we should try our best to be as sin, you know, as Christ like as we can. It's important. So I hope you like that on, on oppression. And that was um, some great verses there. And get, definitely get that armor on daily. Boy, we need that armor from the evil doers out there, the, you know, the evil spirit, spiritual realm. You know, we do need to have that on daily. Definitely rebuking the devil out and just keeping God close. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and change Chester in his PJs. He's joining the club with the rest of the babies. I got this cute uh, little sleeper for him. It's a button-down one. It's a Carter's. It's a preemie. And it says on the move, and it's got a cute little school bus, I believe. It's an orange bus. And it's got all these characters, you guys. It's really cute. It's got, like, monsters, a bunch of little monsters. It's got a monkey, a dog, an alligator, a bunny, a frog. And I don't know what that is. And then it's even, oh, that's a giraffe. There we go, the neck. A giraffe. So it's all these animals on this bus here done in the orange. It's a cream and uh, light tan color stripes. And like I said, it says on the move. And then the collar is a like a chocolate brown around the ends of the sleeves of the um, hands and then it is um, you know got the feet in it and then we're just going to give him this cream color nook and it's um a white it is a white i'm sorry i keep saying no it is like a cream and that's what he's wearing is a cream we're going to keep the cream hat on him because i didn't have a brown one to go with it but i thought the white would look good so we'll keep that hat on him so yeah i've got to really quickly grab the powder give me one second i forgot to grab that you guys but Right now, my uh, setup is right here so I can get everything really easy. I don't got to go back in the room anymore. So grateful for that. I can just grab everything right here. And I can't wait for you guys to see this room. This room is amazing. This uh, nursery of mine. So happy to have this. So happy that I had, you know, had this, uh, you know, part of the house that I could use for that. Let me just crawl under here. But I want to powder him because he's not painted yet. He does have a slight paint job on him from the company. And it's holding up pretty well. But I am definitely going to um, be, you know, giving him more art. And um, I'm going to keep the color of his skin, though. I like the skin color, the lightness to it. Even though he is a preemie, he could be more to the red tones. But I like the lightness on this baby because he's already got a lot of the red spots on him. And I love his... Um, Umbilical cord, if you guys ha are new to my channel and haven't seen this baby yet, this is the uniqueness about him, as he's got a great big head. <laughs> he looks like a little old man baby. He's one of those little old man babies, and he's got a long umbilical cord, and I keep the clip on it. That's an actual umbilical cord clip. When a real baby is born, they put those on after they cut the cord there, and they put that on. I'll bring them up here in case you guys are new to my channel, but I have to see where I am. And then you can see that. Look at that. And it is not what you think it is, you guys. That's the umbilical cord. <laughs> so isn't that adorable, though? And I keep that little clip on it. I think that is so unique. And then when I paint him, I will be painting that to look more like um, an umbilical cord. So it'll be more of the white and gray color that it's supposed to be and not skin color. We're not going to have that skin color. It's not supposed to be skin color, right? Why did they do that in a skin color? And then he's got little um, eyelashes already rooted, nice thin eyelashes. I'll bring them up to the camera again. Sorry, I should have showed you guys that. Look at that face. A face only a mother could love. Look at that old man face. And he's very floppy, you guys. But yeah, he's got a big giant head. We'll take it off so you can see. A big head and a little tiny body. So cute. And there's his little body, you guys. Yeah, that's his little body. Um, he fits okay in preemie stuff, but isn't that face cute? And then he's got the eyebrows uh, painted on, I believe. And then the eyelashes rooted. Very thin, but I love that face. He's got that face scrunched up like he's always mad. He's always mad. He's a little mad guy because he's a little old man. Yeah, he's always mad. Say, I am not happy. I am mad. Yeah, say, I'm always mad. But he's sleeping right now, thank God. <laughs> and hopefully he doesn't wake up. Hopefully he'll stay sleeping for us while I powder him up. He likes that powdering. But, yeah, they did some of the um, blushing on him. I just don't like it because it's more like a, I don't know, like a red blushing than a uh, pink 
well, it's kind of a pink red. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to do it a little bit more um, of a different shade. I'm going to go over it and do it of a, you know, just a different shade. We're going to go ahead and pull his little diaper off here so we can powder the legs and put the diaper on and his bum. Just get it all nice and soft here. Oh, I kind of wakened him. Yeah, kind of waking him up. You hear him? He's kind of waking up. We'll turn him over here so we can keep this covered. <laughs> kind of hard to do for a boy. Look at that bum bum. Look at that. I know, Chester, honey. I'm sorry for waking you. He's got a bubble butt, you guys. Look at that. Look at that juicy booty for a little baby. That is a very juicy booty. Yes, it is. And they did some veining on him, but it looks like they did it with a pen. So I'm definitely going to go over it. I don't know if you can see that on him. Um, when I get his diaper on, I'll get up close and show you. But yeah, they, they uh, silly the way they did it um, with a pen. I'm going to go over it and make it better, you guys. So, But yeah, I will show you guys that after I get a diaper on him. Let's go ahead and turn him this way. Keep him covered and finish up with the powdering here. He seems to be okay now. He, he woke up, but he, I think he's okay. He's going to get mad, though, if I don't hurry up and leave him alone. Yes, I got to leave him alone. I got to leave him alone. I got a little preemie diaper here we're going to put on him today. I had a, um, uh, I mean, I had a preemie diaper on him, and this one is a micro preemie diaper. He can fit into both. These are the ones that I use on my uh, micro preemie um, babies that like that one I'm selling that uh, micro preemie baby that gestational baby I have these for him and I'm sending some with for you guys so you have diapers to start off whoever buys that baby but definitely a baby worth buying a very unique baby I keep the umbilical cord out like that but I want to show you like I said oh the best way to show you is his back they did it in like pen if you guys see that oh he's got a little hair there but you see, they like just drew it on with a pen, I think. I don't know how they did it, but I don't like that. I'm definitely going to fix that. I know, I know. Leave me alone, Mom. He'll be okay. But yeah, so um, I just, I love this little guy, and I really love that one that's a unique one. Like I said, I never knew that he was a sold-out kit when I found he was, and I was able to get my hands on one to sell, too. You guys got to jump on that one. Jump on it for only $199. He was originally $200. Even if you ever watch End Love with Reborns, I was telling Jackie that last night. That's um, Stephanie's wife. I was telling her last night, um, I mean, saying it on their channel that I had that baby for sale. And she goes, wow, that is cheap. That's a steal. And I said, I know it's even a dollar cheaper than what he originally was. He was $200 originally. And he comes with a bunch of stuff, too. So, yeah, that's a steal, you guys. Jump on it. I've had so many people interested in it and wanting it. And somebody I know is going to get it. But I just, you know, I'm telling you right now, jump on it. Because that is an artist baby. And it is represented a real gestational baby born too early at 25 weeks. And um, so it's got that look of a baby born too early. And that is still a beautiful baby. Yesterday when I was explaining that in one of my videos, I think it was yesterday or my, uh, Monday's video. I can't remember. Or because I'm ahead of myself here, you guys. This is Thursday when you get this. But when I said that, I was saying, you know, understand, don't be saying anything about that baby. Like saying it's not, you know, it's ugly, it's funny looking, it looks dead, stuff like that. Don't say that because that could really hurt somebody's feelings. Because that is supposed to represent a baby born too early. It's supposed to really represent what they look like when they're born too early like that. And some people lose their babies. Their babies die. So I was saying that. And I was saying that's why they're supposed to look that way. I wasn't meaning it in a way like... You know, it's supposed to look that way, like they look funny. They don't look funny. I just mean they don't have as much skin on them. Aw, he looks adorable. So cute. Um, you know, they don't have as much skin on them. And, you know, they have the uh, skin pigmentation that um, is off, you know, um, the different coloration and stuff because it isn't fully developed. And that's why, but every baby's beautiful within the womb. Uh, when it first starts off, a tadpole, everything, it's still a beautiful baby. So remember that, and yeah, jump on it, you guys. That is a steal. You'll never find that baby again unless somebody's got that for sale. Um, you know, it's going to be hard to find that baby because it's sold out. So I'm glad that I own one. I'm really glad I do. And I just um, can't wait to see who gets the other one. I can't wait to see that. We're going to go ahead and change his nook, and hopefully he'll stay sleeping. 
Give me the nook, baby. Give me the nook, little guy. I know, I know. I know he doesn't want me to pull that away. He wants his nook. I know, and now you're mad because I'm wiping your face. You're like, okay, what is going on? What is going on? Why can't you just leave me alone, Mom? Why can't you just leave me alone? He wants his nookie. We'll give him the nookie. Knew I'd have a baby that was going to cry, and I knew it would be this little crabby butt. <laughs> just had to hold the passy. He came with an open mouth, so I didn't have to open the mouth on this one. But he's, And he's got a nice deep mouth, so he does take most... Uh, pacifiers they just uh, basically cut it just straight across on him so we just got to get it all the way in there yeah there you go say there you go now you're happy again you got your nook and now say now just leave me alone and let me sleep because I'm a crabby guy all right you guys well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the verses on um, oppression I hope you was it on oppression yeah, on impression. Hope you guys enjoyed those verses. And definitely just, you know, remain close to God. Get your salvation. It's important to have that so we can have eternal life and not eternal death. So it's just, you know, that is very important. And I hope that every time I read one, I hope that I save a soul out there or help somebody to get close to God. It helps me, but I hope it helps somebody else as well. Now, Chester will blow you a kiss. And say love all the aunties, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, mommy, and daddy. We'll talk to you guys later. Everybody take care and God bless.